driving ahead of me. It's 8.30 Friday morning. I'm heading west from eastern Kansas all the way down to uh, northern New Mexico. Heading to Cimarron, New Mexico for the Cimarron Challenge this weekend. It's an event that I don't know a ton about. About 75, 80 miles or so. A lot of climbing, 5,000 plus feet of climbing. Um, heads up into the hills. Um, looks like pretty fun at night. A lot of sandy gravel, four service roads, some single track on the way back down. Small event, plus some hundred people, I think closer to 50 for this, this uh, version. Um, I think it's a pretty new event as well, maybe. So, yeah, looking forward to seeing a different part of the world. Stick with it. Uh, should, be, should be fun. I'm driving a long way, not seeing much. And now it is time. Welcome to Colorado. Welcome to colorful Colorado. Welcome to Oklahoma. Welcome to New Mexico. That's the state we've been looking for. Home sweet home. Get some wind going up in here. Not bad. Hopefully nobody paid on that. Sweet. There you go. Here we are, Saturday morning, race day, Cimarron Challenge. Around, we've got many aid and iris, that's a checkpoint basically, but he's going to have hydration. So we've got hydration and aid about every 10 to 15 miles. in. Views are great. Nice roads. This is how riding a bike is supposed to be. Probably about to start climbing now.
about an hour and a half in. Climbing has definitely begun. Not too bad. A couple steep sections, but generally some breaks after the steep ones. Up and up we go. Stopped at the second stack, sag briefly. A little bit of water. The uh, big climb is about to start, so I didn't want to load up a bunch. The bad news is that ridge at a distance is where we're going. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I'm pretty all right right now. I'm gonna feel good doing that though. Oh, big climb has begun. And I do not like it. No break. It's feeling pretty low. Little low point on this climb. Started out pretty dang steep. But, you know, felt like I was making progress. And then, just came to the turn off for the short route. Which means, I still have a thousand feet on this climb. Not happy about that. Beauty of a view. I do not like that view. Yep. We're walking. Riding again. Still going up. Still miserable. Walking again. I don't know how high we are. What oh, shit. Whew. Riding again. Walking again. Right now I'm walking my bike and my heart rate's over 160. We gotta be getting close to the top eventually here. I have a feeling I'm not taking home that far.
Oh, that's a hill. This by far takes the cake. This is the steepest. I don't know if you can make out how steep that is. Jeez. I think the scout camp said they take cars up and down this thing. Suburban. I got bigger balls than I do. There's no way someone's riding a bike up this. I can barely walk up it. A second ago, I had to pick my bike up to get it up the hill. Hill. This is ridiculous. I had to stop at least 10 times walking my bike. I'd pay to see someone ride their bike up that hill. I challenge you. Come right up that hill.
Cimarron Challenge done, dusted, uh, 14th, I think I was, long round. Man, I am beat up. My upper body, my back, my neck. I have pain in strange places for a 70, it was like 76, 77, 78 miles. Yeah, it's funny because I made it back to gravel eventually. Last like maybe 10 miles or something. And, uh, boy, I started coming around good there at the end and started putting some some good speeds down again. Once we got back to places that I could actually go fast, but uh, kind of get that thousand mile stare type thing on a day like today. So pretty depleted. Um, it's really, really well organized. Sags, lots of sags out there, lots of snacks, drinks. You got a burrito in the morning, you got tacos afterwards, you got a couple of beers, sodas. They offered a spaghetti dinner the night before, 15 bucks for some really pretty darn nice camping. I would I would certainly recommend the event, um, but just know what you're getting in for as far as the roads and uh, be prepared. There's some pretty rough stuff in the second half of the event. I'd say the first 45 miles were pretty much a gravel route, a gravel race. And then there was about 30 miles of mountain bike course tacked on. The views and the roads uh, are amazing and there's a big stretch of private road that you're not going to get to ride any other way than this event. Yeah, overall give it a thumbs up. Had some low spells, had some high points. I guess that's what a long gravel ride is like.